Mr. Mason. Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. there. there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble.
Senor, I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, Wade. What do you say about opening the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good, too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay. Hey, who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Perfecto! Maldito! You just got lucky. If that makes you feel better, sure. Oh, that was damn pathetic. Oh, how about another round, huh? Race right, stakes. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! That's good shooting, I guess. Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Let's go, girl. Yep. Drink. I'm parched. Hey, mister. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. He <laughs> wants to beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. So, uh... Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. 
Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. That's it for now. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Evening, mister. Evening. Listen. I don't treat... Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up. You're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got going. Ah! Ah! What the ah! hell?
bad. Dumb move.
Here you are. Now, I've had my fair share of big nights in Smithfields, but a line of fellers doing a can-can? That's a first. Valentine connected in the West. Better luck next visit. Yeah. Hey there, girl. Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Actually, I think I found some. Uh, here. Excellent. I will go and investigate. <laughs> And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. 
Good day to you, sir. So up now.
concern. Everybody is doing all they can to find this child. You can rest now, girl. Calm down. Everybody just relax. We We're doing all we can. I know you worry. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Uh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dex. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Ooh. Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So Should have stayed out of all of this. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. 
follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Dutch wants up there.
not down here. Let's go check upstairs. Where's the boy? Well, I'm a... 
We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, 
and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. Whoa. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah, <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought... All right. She 
be just down this path to the left here. So, where was I? I could just leave again, and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Plenty found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! It's them again! Boys, get ready! Ah! Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. when you had the chance! I'd advise you to run, you son of a bitch! Sorry, boys! This is ours now!
I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Finally, some Confederate gold. bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. We got fine living. You know the corpses in the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. That girl, all I've got going on, and she wants to talk. 
Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. <laughs> Easy! Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Hello, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. Oh, man. That's, uh... Move next time. That's too bad.
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. You're real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in Nan. You should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have them. Over here. I'll get you in a second. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. A dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so swally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Don't take my word for it then. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now, over here's a real piece of art. 
That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? If you say so. Giddy up, farm boy. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Stop, shit. Street opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to Saint Denis, Mister. It's quite a town. Get lost.
Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for the brothers? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Nathan! Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. 
But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, so, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ranch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's 
find him and get the hell out of here. Too late here. Then and gone. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Of all the ways I thought today was gonna turn out, this sure weren't one of them. Keep on. I'll try this way. of these things. Corpses in this city live better than we do.
here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Think there might be something in here. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just drive back to where we came in. Damn it.
We lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. <sighs> Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You oh. had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh! He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. Italian food. 
You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Ah. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. Okay, I'll catch you later then. You take care now, Arthur. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay then. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. 